it started was I can't remember. I think it was the summer of 2013. Jaleel was playing for Toronto okay. up in Canada, yeah. and uh, he brought back a DVD, like of all of his plays. They call them explosions up there, so he brought back all of his plays. And we just took it to the lab, broke everything down, you know, we watched film on everything, and went out. We was up at UT and just doing some stuff, fine-tuning techniques, stuff like that. We made some videos, and I ended up posting some. Yeah. And after I posted them, then, like, people was hitting me up, like, hey, like, you know, Will you work with me? Like, you know, can I get some work in? At first it was just kind of like, nah, I mean, he family. So I'm just, yeah. you know, it was focusing on him. Plus I was coaching at the time, so I really didn't have time. So I was like, eh, nah. So <laughs> we did that. And then afterwards, like me and him kind of talked and was like, hey, man, like, well, what do you think about doing it as a business? Like, what do you think about, like, we probably, like, we want to do this. And I'm like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know nothing about running a business I never had before. Right. You know what I mean? So he was just like, well, just train some cats for a summer, see how it go, and then we'll sit back down and revisit it, and we'll go from there. And actually, uh, Dion's son was the first kid to hit me up, Jamie Thompson, yeah. whatever. He had just transitioned from Ohio State. He was going to Juco or whatever, so we were. So same thing, posted some videos with him. You know, people saw it, and then it was just like, hey, man, like, hey, can I get some work too, whatever. So at the end of that summer, I think it might have been, I think I might have had like 25 clients just from that one summer that quick, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it just took off from there. Right. Well, our motivation is getting the youth to get off the couch, for one. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is like the technology era yeah. with your Facebooks and Instagrams. And yeah. And things like that, and then the video games too. Our thing is, we're branching out where before we kind of worked more with older kids, high school and college kids, but now we're working with the youth, younger kids, and I think that's key in getting to them early and getting them in the habit of working out, being fit. Because I mean, if you look around, there's a lot of obesity going on, not just in our city or our state, yeah. but all over. So yeah. it's just like get them, get them active at an early age, and then I think that will just kind of plant that seed in them to keep wanting to do it. When you work out, you feel good and you look good. So it's just yeah. like it, it's an attitude, it's a mindset. So I think doing that early on, it'll plant that seed and it'll just keep them motivated. And it's just an easy transition because you're going to have to do it if you play sports anyway. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, a football, baseball, basketball, and no matter the age group, you're going to have to do it. Right, so yeah. why not start doing right. it at an early age? Yeah, you will. Wow. It wasn't that that one just popped in. I mean, we was kind of throwing around some different names and stuff like that. Yeah. And then it was like, I know that I didn't want to just do football because they was yeah. kind of like, you know, something with football. And I'm like, no, I said, why put ourselves in a box like that? I said, right. why not have? all sports so I mean I knew athletics would be yeah. in there somewhere right. and then as far as elite I mean elite is the best you know what I'm yeah. saying <laughs> the best of the best so it's like it absolutely. just kind of yeah. popped in my head I'm like yeah that sounds good absolutely and that's kind of how the name came around awesome. well I mean this is hometown man yeah, right. you know yeah. if you're going to start something you definitely got to start at home base so I definitely wanted to make sure that kids in this area had the opportunities that I didn't when I was growing up. Right. All we had was Jeremy Lincoln camp, which is one of my really good friends and mentors. Exactly. But that's all we had growing up was that camp. We didn't have training all year round or for sports. So I would do stuff like with my dad, you know what I mean, or my godfather, Mr. Paul, where we would do stuff. But besides that, there was nothing like this. So it was just like this gives us an opportunity to give back. You know what I mean? Right. And then not only give back, but to be able to still have an impact on the community and helping the youth out. We, well, we don't do a lot of weight <coughs> stuff here. It's yeah. like a lot of more movement. So yeah. the age really doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll have kids from like first grade and they go on up to yeah. college. So I mean, we have. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So we yeah. have all age groups, every sport, gender. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter, male, female. Groups, we uh, separate them, especially with the older and younger kids. Right. We'll have, like when we do our trainings on Sunday, we'll have the older kids come in at 3, 
that'll be high school and junior high. Yeah. And then the older or the younger kids come in after that. So your sixth graders on down to your first graders. And which I like it to, to do it like that too because you can do more teaching, especially with right. the younger kids. You really have to teach because this is the first time that they're learning it. So we don't want to mix those guys in and then we miss somebody. So we like the smaller groups yeah. just because more teaching can go on and you can focus on everything and techniques and making sure they're doing it right. Yep, I played at Toledo. I was there for three years. Oh, nice. uh, Coach Pinker was there when I first got there. Then they left and ended up going to Missouri. And then Amstutz was the head coach my last year. Well, not coaching anymore, yeah. it frees me up. <laughs> I mean, coaching took up a lot of my time. But don't get me wrong, I coached for 13 years. It's fun, man. At some great yeah. schools. You know, I was at Whitmer, St. John's a couple of times, Northview, uh, Scott and Wade. But um, it was just a matter of, I know this is what I want to do. This is my passion as far as running the business. But then I still get my coaching fix working with the athletes and training them. So it's like it's a win-win for me. Right. And I make my own schedule, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's like I'm not tied in or I have to be here when this part of the summer starts. Two days, I mean, you know how it is. You oh, coach yeah. too, so oh, yeah. your summer's over a month early. Everybody <laughs> yep. else is on the beach, but hey, man, it's time to get after it. So it's a year-round sport at that. that definitely, part. especially yeah. now right, with yeah. everything that they have. With seven on sevens, I mean, everything is year-round. So. Yeah, my, uh, my cell phone number is 419-206-8009, and then you can reach me at Elite Athletics Academy at gmail.com, and then we're on all of the social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we're on all of those, so it's Elite Athletics Academy, so you can send me a message.